City won 6-2 over International. Portlandia won over Metro 5-3. This game will be PCF and Portlandia. The next game after this then will be International and Metro, the two teams that don't have a win yet. I am. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm looking at Portlandia and the City. I think Portlandia might, might benefit. I think they play a better defensive game. So we'll see if I'm right or not here. <laughs> Have you had a chance to evaluate these teams for this game, Walter? Yes, you know, why you see the NAC Portland, uh, uh, Portlandia is more into the tight and then defensive side, and the city has a quick hit more into the tackling. It will be a nice to see what the strategies that they're going to use. Uh, we just hit the Portlandia, the blue team. They are uh, playing together once well, and I think they will be preparing themselves a little bit more to come over here. But on the other side, City is a very well organized team. Mm -hmm. All right, in gold, we're expecting for uh, Portlandia will be uh, Jose Rodriguez. In goal for City, we expect will be the player we interviewed after the first game, Max Gorio. Both teams look like they got young legs out there, so it's going to be a fast game. Again, be, each team will play three games, so the, each, each of these teams have a win. Another win here for one of them teams is going to give them a commanding lead in the standings to get to the championship game. City in the black with the white uh, shoulders, the white letters. They will move from our right to our left. Portlandia, black trunks, blue jerseys, white lettering, and they will move from our right to our left. Thanks for joining us here at Oregon Sports Beat. This is the Northwest Futsal Derby. We'll crown a champion today. Whoa. <laughs> Walter, good heads up there. It's up there, yeah. <laughs> Did you ever think maybe if I could just get my hands on the ball? Oh, oh a, goal. a goal that quick mm -hmm. for a City. I think that was number three. I think that's Gabe yeah, Parrish. Three. It is. Yeah. Parrish with a goal. That's his second goal of the tournament. One to nothing, PCFC. We've had two games where uh, a team scored a goal in about the first two minutes of the game. Action is quick. Northwest Futsal Derby here on Oregon Sports Beat. I'm Dave Hall. I'll be doing the play-by-play, -play, working with me, our expert. Walter Arvelo, the head coach at Rock Creek PCC. Steve Roberts with us also. Steve, thanks for getting those interviews set up on those two games so far. We'll see who the player of the game is going to be in this game. Our referee is Victor Castro. We are at King Elementary School. We're over at uh, 6th in Alberta. These are great courts to play futsal on, too. Where there's how to do no. In front, there's a chip. Oh, yeah. oh a nice pass thing. off to the right and a goal for Portlandia. Portlandia comes right back with a goal. That is number nine for Portlandia. We will have an interesting game. You know, the rest of the minute is going to be a battle. We got good two teams, young players, moving really quick the ball. Now, that's one of the players that we didn't see a whole lot of in the first game. That's Orlando Hernandez with the goal for Portlandia. Orlando uh, is from David Douglas High School, went to Warner Pacific, was a four-year varsity letter winner at Pacific, right in front of us. In front, a hard shot across the goal mouth. Parrish with the shot that time. We're still even at one. Parrish dishes off. There's a little chip uh -huh, shot. Almost. Oh, nice. goalie save. fell down and then yeah. managed to stick a hand up and block it. What a save that time for Jose Rodriguez. Come on. 
good defense right in front. Number six ready to check in for Portlandia. That was the player we interviewed. That was Jorge Zarita. Another chip shot. Rodriguez got the, his hand up. That's two shots that they've tried to chip over his head, and he's got his hand up and blocked them. 1-1 one, one our score. Oh, there's a on the throw in a goal. Yeah, defense got a little bit out of position on that throw in there. Portlandia goal, that's number 15, I think it was. Or, I'm sorry. That was the goal by uh, City, City number 15. I don't have a 15. City though leads now, two to one. I think they're saying he was out of the circle when he trapped that one. I'm looking down my list yeah, again to see if I have a 15 and I don't. All right, our score, it is two to one. City leads Portlandia. Portlandia in front. They tried to chip that ball over the top. City comes down with it, Max Gorio. Max was telling us he went from France to Germany to the U.S. He's truly an international player. There was a shot the length of the court right on goal. Hernandez lobs it in. Gorio gets up. Nice block that time up in the air. There's that. Two to one, Portlandia leads. I'm sorry, two to one, City leads. City with the ball again, shot wide left. Fast paced action. Tried to bounce that one, not able to do it. Gorio with the shot. All right, Gorio sends it in. City, that goes out. First half action here in game three. Two to one, City leads. City is contacting more players in the middle and is controlling the ball right there, right now. Uh, let's go ahead, go ahead, let's attack. In front, Gorio goes down after making a save. And that goes out. Markowitz on the throw in for City. Be a throw in. Two to one, city leads. First half action, game three. Hard shot, wide left. And 
and that goes out. Hernandez checks back in. Portlandia trying to get the equalizer. Max Gorio picks it up. And we have a foul right there. Stolen, Portlandia steals it. Stolen right back. <laughs> City ball. Oscar, or, or, I'm not, sorry, uh, Hernandez thought he'd steal that one. Orlando Hernandez, I mean. And an, hard shot. Oh, Jose Rodriguez goes down, blocks out with his arm. Out of bounds, throwing coming up for City. The goal is really working. It's helping big time, you know, the Portlandia. And you were mentioning Dave, he was uh, one of the all star goals when he was at high school. He's an all-star at Everett Community College. Great, great goalie. Big guy too, but he's very agile. City ahead on the side, another sliding stop. Right now, Rodriguez is keeping. Portlandia in this game. There's a shot, yes, a goal right in front. Loose ball and it came down right in front. I believe for, let's see, for City, I think that's number four. Number four, yes. Rudolfo Zamora. And it comes back, Portlandia comes back, right back with a goal. Number 10. Number 10 for Portlandia, and that is Soto, Gil Soto. And so our score is actually right now, it's City 3, Portlandia 2, and that's halftime. Two quick goals in the last minute, one by Zamora for City, one by Soto for Portlandia, and that's where we stand right now. 3-2, to two, City on the lead. Walter? Again, we go, like uh, Steve was mentioning, you know, uh, the players are getting tired and they need to be somehow save the energy for the finals game, you know, and, but this, they are, their players are really competitive, you know, younger players. Definitely this game was a more movement, more tactical. Players were moving back and forth, the subbing was right on time, and then you see the goal that they decided to win for each team. Uh, seconds, basically, from one goal to the other one. Steve, uh Walter mentioned, you know, the teams are, they have to pace themselves some way. But when we finish this game, these teams will only be half done mm -hmm. with the number of games they have to play. Well, you know, we got two teams now that have a pretty good bench behind them. So they're, and they got young legs. And when you see those young players out there, they are moving the ball quick and they're not holding back right now. You know, you're fighting for a, a standing right now. So um, especially this game with these two teams, you know, you win this one, you're locked into one of those top two positions, I believe. So, you know, I think it's a, that's why it's such an important game and both teams won it so bad. I'll recap for you where we've been so far. PCFC, that's the team we call City. They beat International 6-2. to two. Portlandia beat Metro 5-3. to three. This game is the two teams that each have a win. PCFC in Portlandia and PCFC leads three to two. The next game will be the two teams that don't have a win, and that will be International and Metro. The loser of that game is gonna have trouble getting to the championship bracket. Mm -hmm. All right, we are at King Elementary School, sixth in Alberta for this. Great courts here. Also, I believe this has been our closest match so far. 
3-2 at, at, at the halftime. It was 2 to nothing in our first game. Mm -hmm. International actually led. Then they lost 6 to nothing. It was 3 to 1 Portlandia at half in the second game, and they wound up winning 5 to 3. This was just a one goal differential. Yep. It is much tighter than going on. Uh, I'm impressed with the play of Portlandia goalie, Jose Rodriguez, and we've mentioned him a couple of times now, how quick he is. Like I said, Reynolds High School, we have one, two, three, four players from Reynolds on Portlandia. We have three players from David Douglas. We have two players from Centennial and two players from Benson. All right, Reggie, start second half action. Let's see if their pace. Let's see if their pace keeps up in this half. All right, we're underway. Portlandia in the blue, and they will move now from our right to our left. City in the black and the white, and they will move from our right to our left. Yeah, we can hear some coaching from Portlandia to keep the pressure on the city. They need a, a, a goal, and then they can tie this game and make it really interesting. You know, first game we had eight goals. Second game we had eight goals. We've got uh, five goals here in this game so far. Out of bounds, throw in coming up. Throw in for City. Portlandia with the ball and out of bounds. We've got fans sitting over there now behind the net. Shot high. Parrish trying to get a, a foul there, not able to. Throw in. Portlandia, they want the equalizer. A shot blocked. Great defensive effort that time. That was Gabe Parrish. Oh, nice move there. Little spin move on the dribble. Parrish, left-handed or left-footed shot. Yeah, we see at this time, you know, the decision on the plane is getting a little bit slower, probably the heat, a tiredness. This game is a quick decision, big time decision to uh, do with the ball, to pass, to dribble, or to shoot the ball, shoot the goal. Dave Hall, Walter Arivalo, Steve Roberts on the call. You enjoying the experience so far, Walter? So far, yes. It's, it's great. It's nice to be in this side. You know, one time as a player, now a coach, and now helping you here, learning from right. Steve I imagine. And I imagine it's a much different <laughs> perspective for a coach sitting here watching these teams. A foul. I would tell you, Dave and see, Dave, you know, um, and from my coach perspective, I can see the game in a different, different view, different, and then it has helping me to apply my training. There's a shot wide left. In the middle, a little spin move, gonna get a shot off and block. Nice block that time by number 24. Let's say Ro, uh, Robledo, another, another attempt at a chip shot that time, that was number 15 on the shot. Go, 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 go. 
Portlandia. City leads three to two on the side, a shot blocked. Oh, another great block by Rodriguez. For a big guy, he's just quick and he's agile. Really agile, and then right now we just saw, we just saw the numbers, adding numbers to the attack. Three, they were three v two. You know, quick, quick players from the uh, city. Hard shot, oh, talk about great saves, Max Gorio that time. That was a rocket. Oh, they tried to get it ahead for a shot. Alan Croft got a foot on it, but couldn't direct it. City leads three to two. At three to two, Walter, it seems that both these teams have gone kind of into a, uh, a defensive mode. Yeah, well, they, when they are just trying to take the advantage of any mistake that the team can make. Oh, like excellent that, goal. Like that right there. A goal for Portlandia. Got the ball up in the air and then just side kicked it in from about mm, 15 yards out. Great goal that time by Portlandia. Number 10. That was also an equalizer, wasn't it? Yes. That's Gil Soto. That's his second goal of the game. And it's three to three. So Soto had two goals in his first game. He's got two goals in this game. And we're even at three. The ball goal is they receive. The ball goal is they working really hard. They're saving. The, they're saving both teams, you know. And uh, they very agile for the, those two girls. The uh, Max from France is doing an excellent job and also zooming to the attack on tactically. You know, we have the contrasting goalies. We have a shorter goalie who's kind of uh, he's thinner, but very very agile. We have a taller bigger goalie who's also pretty agile. Do you have a goalie coach at PCC? Yes, we do. You know, we have a great goalie. Uh, we have a sorry in Popovici and also, uh, I don't recall the name right now, but we have a great, great goalie. I mean, do you have an individual goalie coach? No, 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 we don't have anything uh, at this point, and we're looking for this coming year. But we have uh, Sorin Popovici, is our, our, goalie, our goalie coach, helping us. When you played, what did you play? I was a goalie. You were the goalie? <laughs> I was a goalie. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm focusing the technical and tactical. And I, you know, I, 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 I leave the goalie coach's job there. Zorita was a nice block that time. There's a hard shot and Rodriguez makes another save. When you're in goal, you gotta be ready. In futsal, you gotta be ready because the shot comes so quick. If you look down or anything, it's by you. Our international goalies, you know, I was in Brazil this uh, last uh, past um, month before this uh, situation, this pandemic. And then the futsal training, a lot of the goalies, they were mouthpiece, and a lot of the goalies, they are missing tooth, you know? <laughs> and then uh, they, they were saying you had to be crazy to be goal in futsal, <laughs> you know? But it's, it's great, it's a very active position. 3-3, three, three, our score, we're even up. Game number three, the two leaders, each with a win. Portlandia two, PCFC City two. I'm sorry. Each team with three. It was 3-2 three, at halftime. A goal for Soto here for Portlandia it's made it 3-3. Three, three. Nice defensive play that time from Portlandia. That was number four, Zamoro. Hard shot high. Drop, drop, drop. 
Rodriguez sends it down. City still with the ball, off on the side. A shot and a goal. Allen Croft with a goal. Put City back on top, four to two, four to three. Croft's first goal of the tournament. We go back, Dave, to the numbers are really important in attacking. That was a 3v2 attack. Nice, nice moving, nice moving the ball from one, one left to the right, and they were able to score. So a goal by Croft. PCFC leads four to three. Orlando Hernandez oh, quickly. Hurt him here, yeah. That's in it. Front. Yeah. And there's the equalizer for Portlandia. They came right back. You, it was nice to see that develop. You, you knew once they got it across and he was still coming down this side. Um, it was just a matter of making a good pass. Robledo with that goal. That's why Robledo, Is that the Robledo made it 4-4. That's it. That is the game. Croft with that goal. That's a game and ends in a tie. All right, that's a tie. That doesn't hurt either one of these teams. They each pick up a point. 4-4 four, four the tie. PCFC and Portlandia. Walter, your thoughts? Yes, uh, so I thought about the, the last goal. That was a pure futsal, we can say. That was ball on the ground. Quick passes, quick decision. This game, this game of futsal is a decision making. You know, similar to basketball, you have to play quickly, pass the ball, and move and be your panoramic view. They did play triangles, a little geometry there on the field. That was a fabulous and nice goal. All right, 4-4, the final in that game. We'll hold off on a player interview until the next game. But the significance of that was this. It's a tie. Each team has played two games and has a win in the tie. They have four points. This next game is between the two teams that have don't have a win. But the winner of this game will have three points after this game and will move still in contention to get that spot in the top two in the final match. It's a three-way tie. Yes. All right, we'll take a break here, and then we'll come back with just before the start of the uh, game number four between International and Metro.